Hi there, and welcome to PJ Stats, the stats you can do while you're still in your PJs. In this episode, we're going to be talking about clinical trials terminology, and we're going to find out that it's not as complicated as what you might think it is. See, it's all about comparison. Uh, what you do is you compare groups, two groups against each other. You've got treatment A and treatment B. The problem here is that there might be differences in the two groups and this confuses the overall results so much so that you might end up comparing apples with oranges so what we do to get around this is we randomize uh, our patients into various groups so we get we randomize our patients into treatment a to get treatment a and treatment b we might do this by tossing a coin or picking a card out of a deck or more likely these days uh, we have some kind of a random number generated to make this decision for us. And randomization gets rid of a lot of problems that we might have in our groups compared with the comparison method. One way of, uh, of randomizing is called a parallel group, which is where we have group X of patients and they get treatment A. And group Y get treatment B. That's quite straightforward. Uh, something com more complicated called a randomized controlled trial. Now we have uh, exactly the same situation here as parallel group where group X get treatment A and group Y get treatment B. But the difference here with a randomized controlled trial is group X don't get treatment A. Instead, they get a control, a placebo. And this is why it's called a randomized controlled trial. You're comparing a treatment with a control. A crossover trial. A crossover trial is where uh, initially you start out with group X of patients getting treatment A and group Y getting a treatment B and after a period of time group X crosses over to get treatment B and group Y cross over to get treatment A. And this we've got something called blinding as well and this is where you randomize your patients into various groups and you randomize them in a way that you don't know what treatment they're going to get you might not know which group they're going to get. And there are different types of blinding. We've got something called single blinding, which is where the patients don't know whether they're getting a treatment or a placebo. We've got double blinding. Here, the patients don't know, and neither do the researchers. And in triple blinding, the patients don't know, the researchers don't know and the analysts don't know. It's only later when you open up the black box, the instructions that tell you what to do, that you find out which patients are in which group and which treatment they're getting. So if you read in a journal that we did a randomized triple blind placebo controlled crossover trial, you now know what it all means. It's randomized because we, we're not doing a straight comparison. We're randomizing our patients into two different groups. It's triple blind, so none of the patients, the researchers, or the analysts know which patients are getting which treatment. It's placebo controlled, which means that it's a treatment versus a, uh, a placebo or a control. And it's a crossover trial. So you've got two groups of patients which initially getting a particular treatment and then later on they cross over to get the opposite treatment. So uh, these things sound confusing, but not anymore. Now you know what they all mean. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of PJ Stats, and if you have, please hit the subscribe button, uh, and uh, any future episodes that come out, they'll come straight into your YouTube. By the way, this, uh, this lesson is part of a, a video course that we've done called Statistics the Big Picture, and in this I've gone out and I've researched all the different areas, all the nooks and crannies of statistics. I've pulled it all together and I found out how everything fits together. I've created a mind map of, of, of how every little thing in statistics relates to everything else, and you can only get it in Statistics the Big Picture. This is our video course. You can only get this video course in the Hive, and if you want to get statistics the big picture, you can follow this link. It's bit.ly forward slash stats big picture. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you again soon on another episode of PJ Stats.